But y'all don't care what these scripts say, huh? Just like y'all ignore Yah's most holy Sabbath day, which is the seventh day. But you don't want to rest from doing your own personal business on Yah's holy Sabbath day, okay? You want to do you every day. Every day. Because most of y'all don't, you ain't even thinking about what Yah say. No way. You don't care what these scripts say. You're going to do you every day, irregardless of what these scripts say. We got your obese behind up in the Christian church perpetrating every Sunday. How many of y'all didn't sanctify no damn Sunday? So you, you go right ahead and take your obese behind onto Food Depot or Walmart somewhere and get that old stinking rotten ham. Guess you're going to pray over it, huh? Yeah, like that's, that's going to bless it. I keep telling y'all, the grace period is up. 2019. 2019 done slipped up on a lot of y'all. Because Almighty Yah, you're not playing. Y'all done caught you slipping. The times of the Gentiles has come to an end. That foolishness you were taught up in these whorehouses you call the church. Listen to what Apostle Paul said, talking about we no longer under the law. We under grace. That's what's going to get a lot of you black Christians, falsely so-called, going to get a lot of people killed. The Apostle Paul's false doctrine is going to get a whole host of you Hebrews killed. Apostle Paul wasn't even talking to the Jew. Apostle Paul wasn't talking to you. The Apostle Paul was a false prophet. He wasn't even sent to you. The prophet Yeshua, who you ignorantly called Jesus Christ, he told his disciples, don't go nowhere near the Gentiles, teaching them nothing. The apostle Paul took it upon himself to go to these heathens and teach them all the lies that the European Gentile church fathers inherited. It's prophesied right here in, in the sacred scriptures of the Bible. What you called the Old Testament, the Gentiles got you calling our sacred scriptures the Old Testament, but that's not what it's called. It's called the Book of Remembrance, people. That's what it's called. Don't be calling our scriptures the Old Testament. This ain't no Old Testament because the New Covenant that it speaks of is just a carbon copy of the Old Covenant. Except this time it's going to be written on our hearts. That's why it's called the book of remembrance. The most holy law of Yah is going to be upon our hearts and mind. And that's why in Malachi it's called the book of remembrance. Open your Bible to the Holy Scriptures, if you will. And when I say the Holy Scriptures, I'm not talking about the Christian's New Testament either. But y'all don't care what these scripts say, huh? Just like y'all ignore Yah's most holy Sabbath day, which is the seventh day. But you don't want to rest from doing your own personal business on Yah's holy Sabbath day, okay? You want to do you every day. Every day. Because most of y'all don't, you ain't even thinking about what Yah say. No way. You don't care what these scripts say. You're going to do you every day, irregardless of what these scripts say. We got your obese behind up in the Christian church perpetrating every Sunday. How many of y'all didn't sanctify no damn Sunday? So you, you go right ahead and take your obese behind onto Food Depot or Walmart somewhere and get that old stinking rotten ham. Guess you're going to pray over it, huh? Yeah. Like, that's, that's going to bless it. I keep telling y'all, the grace period is up. 2019. 
2019 done slipped up on a lot of y'all. Because Almighty Yah, you're not playing. God done caught you slipping. The time of the Gentiles has come to an end. That foolishness you were taught up in these whorehouses you call the church. Listening to what Apostle Paul said, talking about we no longer under the law. We under grace. That's what's going to get a lot of you black Christians, falsely so-called, going to get a lot of people killed. The Apostle Paul's false doctrine is going to get a whole host of you Hebrews killed. Apostle Paul wasn't even talking to the Jew. Apostle Paul wasn't talking to you. The Apostle Paul was a false prophet. He wasn't even sent to you. The prophet Yeshua, who you ignorantly called Jesus Christ, he told his disciples, don't go nowhere near the Gentiles. Teach Malachi chapter 3, verse 16. Then those who feared Yah spoke to one another, and Yah listened and heard them. So a book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear Yah and who meditate on his name. The text says, So a book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear Yah and who meditate on his name. A book of remembrance was written before him for who? For those who fear Yah. A book of remembrance was written before him for those who who fear Yah and meditate on his name. So how are you going to do that, Christians? How are you going to meditate on his name if you don't even know his name? Christians don't even know the name of the Most High. They worship this dude right here. You Hebrews, you need to wake up and come out of that cesspool of a religion they call Christianity. And don't get it twisted. When you, you hear me talking about Yahshua, the prophet Yahshua, I'm not talking about this character you read about in the Gentile Gospels, the one they call Jesus Christ. Yahshua the prophet was not Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is not Yah. Nor is he the son of Yah. That's Christianity, people. When you hear these folk, these fake Messianic Jews, Christians, and even some Hebrew Israelites talking about Yahshua, or Yash Yashiah, or Yahawashia, the Yahshua, the that they talking about is not the prophet Yahshua. The Yahshua they're talking about is that same dumb Gentile pagan idol dressed up like a Hebrew Israelite. It's the same dumb doctrine. If you don't believe it, just listen to how stupid some of these people talk. I don't care if you call him Yahawashah. I don't care if you call him Yahshua, Yahshua, Yahoshua, Yahawashua. It's the same dumb, it's the same old God, man, God the Son, half man, half God, 100% 100 man, 100% God. Stupid. Son of a man, born of a virgin. Who died to save the whole damn world. Or who died to save Israel only. 
Makes no difference. It's the same pagan idol of the New Testament. Repackaged to make it acceptable to you Hebrews. Because a lot of y'all desperately trying to hang on to Christianity. Brothers and sisters, there's a reason why I took this route, dealing with this issue of the New Testament idol called Jesus Christ. It's because you Hebrews, you really can't concentrate, nor can you meditate on Yah's most holy name as long as you are extolling and all the time praising and propagating the son of a man, a human being. Who was and he is a false deity. You Hebrews. You really need to think over this. Because like I said. A lot of y'all going to die. And I'm not talking about a natural death. I mean die in the fire. Y'all keep playing with almighty y'all. And you're going to see what's coming soon. Let me read it to you. From the last chapter of the last book of the Bible. And I'm not talking about revelations either. I'm talking about the book of Malachi. Malachi chapter 4 beginning with verse 1. For behold, the day is coming. Burning like an oven. And all the proud, yes, all who do wickedly will be stubble. And the day which is coming shall burn them up, says Yah of hosts. That it will leave them neither root nor branch. But you who fear my name. The son of righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings. And you shall go out and grow fat like stall-fed calves. You shall trample the wicked. For they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day that I do this, says Yah of hosts. Remember. The law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded him in Horeb for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of Yah. And he will turn the hearts of the father to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers. These I come and strike the earth with a curse.